Does somebody else want to kick us off with Ollie? Pat, what? Because I don't really know whether I want to go straight in because I'm trying to compose myself and think what I'm going to say about this situation. What are your thoughts on Ollie? He's, a, he's the current favourite with the bookies, Pat, to, to lose his job. Uh, this video will go out, of course, after the Everton game, which is Saturday morning. Um, a massive, massive game in, in his Manchester United career, in my opinion. What are your thoughts on Ollie? Is it time? Um... To be honest with you, I'm sort of ready for him to be put out of his misery. Like because I just feel like it's it's not reasonable to expect anyone to do a good job in these conditions where like, you know, they have a they have a decent run of games and suddenly he's back on top and he's at the wheel again and then, you know, like everything kind of goes to shit and it's people baying for his blood. Like I I, I can't quite work out what's gone wrong with them because their defence was really good last season and it's terrible so far this season. I think terrible. Really only six teams have conceded more shots, but more importantly, the shots they do concede. I mean, the the problem they have is that when their defence breaks down, it breaks down in really obviously embarrassing ways. You yeah. know, whereas you can give up quite a lot of goals, but if you if it looks like you're doing things right, then you get a little bit more leeway than when people just like run free from the halfway line, as we saw in the Champions League this week. Um yeah, I don't know. I still think there's enough attack there that they'll probably be broadly fine. But it already looks like that kind of third to fourth place spot that certainly I was predicting before the season is not gone, but extremely difficult for them to make up. I think they spent money really strangely in the summer. Um, I wasn't particularly a fan of how they did that. Um, and if Pochettino is just sitting out there, then I think it's perfectly reasonable to say to Oli, like, look, it's been a long time. This hasn't really gone well. We haven't really achieved any level of consistency. We are going to make a change. I don't think that that's unreasonable. But I also think that if the assumption behind that is what's going wrong is Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, then Man United are in for a rude awakening because it clearly isn't. I don't know. That's a, It's not particularly organised. I just think Man United, Man United are rubbish this season. It's kind of hard to work out why. Um... But when they aren't building on what was overall a successful year last year, I think you're within your rights to to make a make a change. Yeah, it's a really difficult one because I think there are echoes of last season a little bit because I think people forget United had 11 points after eight games last season um, and, and was struggling big time then as well and really turned it around um, towards the back end of, of the campaign. And there were calls for Ollie's head at the start of last season as well. They're definitely more vicious this time, I would say, and probably more warranted, yes. <clears throat> but I, I kind of partially agree with you, Pat. I think, look, he was got the team into the into the position of the Champions League, which is what plenty of managers pre Oli have done. Wasn't supported in the way he needed to be supported. The players that have come in and were signed by the club, if you analyse them, have had no impact on the team. You know, Donny probably Ollie's fault isn't getting enough game time. Cavani is only just coming to fitness because he had to have two weeks. Do you think the Donny stuff's a bit weird though? Like Thomason, that that Go on. this many like people expect him to have put up X amount of minutes already. Like it, it was always going to take mm. a little time to embed him into the side, right? Particularly when Ollie can't yeah, put together a competent attack at the minute. So I, I do find like the beat beating the Donny, the Donny stick a difficult. bit weird. Yeah. Yeah, it's very difficult. Then you've got Tellez, who had COVID, of course. Uh, Palestri, who is only joining as an under-23. And Diallo, who, who doesn't join until January. So you look at the impact of the, the summer signings, and it's null uh, at the moment, which has been appalling. There could not have been a worse uh, pre-season for United. I think we had a four-day pre-season, uh, pre the season, which is nowhere near acceptable. Pogba got COVID. We had the Harry Maguire situation. Uh, overall, the build-up to the season was an utter disaster, mm. and it's really showing. United's performances <clears throat> have been absolutely appalling. 15th in the league is not acceptable. Can drop as low as 17th on Saturday, um, and the highest we can move to, to is 12th. So there is huge pressure on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to sort this situation out, and the defending has been atrocious. The, the game against Istanbul midweek was one of the worst defensive displays I've had the disfortune of watching uh, <laughs> in, in, in maybe a decade at Manchester United. <laughs> the first goal is Sunday League stuff. The second goal, everybody gets drawn into the ball. Luke Shaw's not even in the picture. And this comes off the back of two really good results in the Champions League. PSG away 
can't be underestimated how good that result was. 5-0 against Bundesliga leading Leipzig. Can't be underestimated how good that result was. And they've been masking some tragic form. Tragic form. No wins at home this season. It's absolutely unacceptable. A 6-1 battering by Tottenham Hotspur at home. Unacceptable. So as soon as that Champions League form runs out, even more question marks start to get asked. And it ran out yesterday. Um, and I don't want to blow hot and cold because, you know, I was really praising Oli after that Leipzig result. And he got it spot on. Tactics were perfect against Julian Nagelsmann. And the trouble is with Oli at the moment, he's getting more games wrong than he's getting right. I think last season was the opposite. He got more right than he got wrong. Really positive in big games. Won the majority of his major battles. Maybe struggled to break down some of the smaller teams. But towards the back end of the season was almost unbeatable. I think we went 20 games unbeaten. Um, this season, it's the reverse. We're struggling in the big games. We still can't break down the little teams. And it feels like he's starting to get more decisions wrong on the pitch than he is getting right. And I don't want to say the players look like they're quitting on him. But I think certain members of the squad are starting to question what the idea is, what the attacking plan is, what is the midfield balance, what's the defensive structure. And fans are starting to question that too. So I think the pressure going into the Everton game is as big as it's ever been on Oli. And like I said about Bilic, the international break is always sacking season. And it's made worse by the fact Pochettino is out of a job and is now available to bring in without paying a compensation package to Tottenham because that contract has run out. Um, I feel sorry for Oli because I think he's been badly hung out to dry by the board in terms of recruitment. But equally, right now, it's just not good enough, Amster. Yeah, I think fundamentally, uh, strip away the external factors, would Poch Pochettino get better performances, better results with the talent that Oli has available to him right now? And the answer is probably yes. I think you made some interesting observations there that Oli's actually a good manage when it comes to reacting to someone else's game plan when when the opposition have a strong philosophy that they're probably not going to change uh, you know although Leipzig City you know there can be fluid in games Let, let's not discount that but he's good at, at reacting to someone else's tactics when it comes to United putting their stamp I'm going to say in inverted commas on, on games you have struggled uh struggled for originality yeah. struggled for just coherence in any part of the pitch and that sort of uh, emphasised by the fact that Paul Pogba has been moved out to the left in, in various games and he's been at the base of midfield and he's been in attacking midfield and you, you, you feel for him to an extent just watching him because quite clearly uh, he doesn't know what he's doing, but I don't want to get transfixed on, on Paul Pogba. It's, it's, it's definitely not just him, is it? The, the centre-half pairing that was so impressive last season. How can they all of a sudden be, be leaving Denver Bar on the halfway line, like you said, without without one of them you know, showing a bit of game management? Fred's been good. I'm, sure I, I'm not really sort of galvanised my thoughts. I'm kind of going through it on a player-by-player -player basis in my head, but Fred's been good. I suppose he's been a not a revelation this season, but in the last year, he's, he's at least shown a bit of nous that you've maybe maybe lacked in, in in midfield but essentially i find you pretty dull to watch <laughs> unless unless yeah, you, unless you're playing true. against a, a great team and then ollie's all of a sudden turns into to, to prime pep so so yeah I, I do think it's perhaps time to go um but i i think he cannot he can leave with his head held high like he's done a reasonable job i don't think it will damage his stock moving forward um but yeah, is his exit like the full solution? Like you both said, probably not. No. Yeah, definitely agree with that. I personally still would give him time. Um, I don't think it's going to make a huge amount of difference to, being, to bring Pochettino in right now. And that's if we can even get Pochettino. I think lots of people are sort of going, oh, you, yeah, you United can. will just go and pick Pochettino up. You, you just think United is that easy? United, if I was Pochettino, I'd be looking at it going... Uh, I could wait another maybe six months and, and a bigger job than Manchester United is going to be available. 